Hi there and welcome to this two minute tip video and in this video we're going to look at the focus point wraparound option on the Nikon Z series. One of the great things about the Z series cameras is the fact that they've got focus points that go totally to the edge of the um, sensor and the viewfinder. Um, and that's different from the DSLRs that Nikon have made where perhaps the focus points have been predominantly in the centre portion of the screen and quite closely positioned. And this provides us with a real benefit. You can focus right to the edge of the um, viewfinder and the sensor. However, sometimes on, particularly on the Z7 where you've got 400 odd um, focus points, moving across them can be quite a challenge. And this piece of functionality, focus point wraparound, can be quite useful if you've been focusing at one side of the screen, you want to quickly get to the other side of the screen. Because if you set it up to be on, then if you scroll off of the right hand edge of the screen, you appear on the left hand edge. And if you scroll off the bottom, you arrive at the top. So it wraps the focus point around so you don't have to scroll the whole way back across the um, viewfinder or sensor. So let's look at how you set it up. It's very simple. You go into the custom shooting menu, go into A, autofocus, um, and then go to option A9 and you'll see focus point wraparound. Just two options, you can turn it on or turn it off. Um, one thing to remember is it works on all the autofocus settings except for auto area AF because obviously that covers the whole um, sensor anyway. So it works on single point dynamic area autofocus and wide area autofocus both small and large. I find it's one of those pieces of functionality that I turn on because you never know when you need to quickly scroll from um, one side of the focus points to the other side and as I said it's more of a challenge when the more focus points you've got on the camera like the Z series. So I hope you find this useful. Um, let us know if you've got it turned on in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video hit subscribe and as always you know hit notifications and you'll hear of future two minute tip videos and I look forward to seeing you on a future one.